Context. Context is everything, and today's episode is about that. Context is the surrounding environment that shapes the way that you process information, which, without it, the same information can't be fully understood. I'll give you an example. Context is the difference between saying, I hit things for a living, and I hit things for a living. And music is no different. When you listen to a song, the first few seconds are packed with information. Your brain tries to identify what the groove is, what key we're in, and what's the main texture of the piece. Now, as you know, songs usually don't have a count in, because that would just suck. One, two, one, two, three, four. So if the first sound we happen to hear isn't beat 1, we can't really know what it is. And because of that, it's very common to identify the first pulse we hear as beat 1 and start analyzing from there. So without further ado, here are 10 song intros that totally trashed my rhythmic confidence. Quick side note, if you're feeling up to it, go listen to each song before I break it down and see how you feel it. The first song on the list is Ain't My B by Metallica. I, of course, thought that the first hit played was beat one, just like this. One, two, one, two, three, four, 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 one. But that hit in the beginning is actually beat four, like this. All right. All right. Number two is Rochedo by I think a Brazilian band Silibrina. Here, yet again, I thought that the first hit was beat one. What can I say? I'm a simple man with a simple mind. One, two, three, four. 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 But then I remember that I'm listening to Latin music, and fusion specifically, and playing the one in Latin music is like feeding chocolate to a dog. I mean, you can do that, but what are you, a psycho? Jesus. Anyway, this song starts on the end of one. One, two, three, four, 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 one. Ah, Latin musicians, they always get you. Number three on the list is Videotape by Radiohead. This one got everyone, right? Come on, be honest. We all thought these are downbeats. One, two, three, four. 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 One, Two, three, four, one. And we all know now that they're not. They're upbeat. Vox did a great video about it, so go and watch it if you still don't believe me. After everything I've done for you. So ungrateful. You useless, ungrateful maggot! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Next up is the song Kamti by Israeli hip hop band Adagnachash. 
And this song starts with what I thought was two sixteenth notes as a pickup and a downbeat. One, two, three, four. 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 <laughs> While in reality, that pickup is even pickup-er, pickup-er, more of a pickup, whatever. All three notes are before the downbeat. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Okay, number five is Punk by Avishai Cohen. This one is a bit different, as I thought it's in a different meter. I was convinced it's in five. But the person who wrote it and the people who played it have a different opinion. It's a very elusive 4-4 divided into 5, 5 and 6, which makes 16. Which, to my defense, is very close to 15, which is 5 in triplets, so I'm not that stupid. Epic, we are halfway through, which is a great spot for some self-promotion. So if you like the content that I make, you are more than welcome to share this video with someone, comment if you feel like it, or subscribe if you haven't. Also, you're more more than welcome to join my mailing list or support me on Patreon at patreon slash you give goodbye. Anyway, those were five examples that got me at first, but eventually I managed to get my ears to cooperate and hear them the right way. Which is something I can't really say about the next five ones. Number six is the track More Than Meets the Ear from the Horace Silver SF Jazz Collective album. It's in seven, but uh, not the one that I'm thinking of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, three, four, five, six, seven. One. But there used to be a live version of the song on YouTube, and I can't find it anymore for some reason. In that version, they zoom into the sheet music. And uh, you really see that, uh, that I'm wrong. It's not bit one. What did you say? It's the end of one, and I have failed miserably. I'll try playing it as it should be, but I simply can't seem to get the first version out of my head. Uh, it's there, and it's there forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Nope, this is way too hard. Number seven is the song Shallow by Porcupine Tree. Now, this song actually starts right on beat one. So, what the hell, man? Well, that beat one is a slide down on a guitar. Who does a slide on beat one and not to beat one? So, yeah, I thought it was, and I still feel it as beat four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, three more to go. Number eight is Tripping Billies by Dave Matthews Band. The song starts with a fade-in, so that doesn't help anyone, but then we have these two hits. And because of their melodic content, I assumed the second hit was stronger for whatever reason, thus I assumed it was beat four and beat one. Noticed I have used the word thus correctly, I think. Which is how you know I am trustworthy. Those hits are actually the end of three and end of four. And this is how it's supposed to be counted. Which I will never be able to hear. One, two, one, two, three, four, 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 and one. Number 9, we have Bent Nails by Snarky Puppy. Same as the previous song, the melodic content is what threw me off to think that this is the downbeat. This is where I hear it. And this is where I suspect it is. And I say I suspect because listening and watching them play this and how they move when they do, Got me thinking. The drummer here crashes every time that pickup note comes in, which makes me think that maybe it's just beat one. But I just don't know. Please help me out. I do not know the answer. One, two, three, four. And of course, last but not least, number 10, Rock and Roll by Zeppelin, the mother of all confusing intros. The way I hear it, and I'm sure a bunch of you as well, and the way I always will hear it, is like this. But we all know the song is in 4-4, right? And I have no reason thinking the intro would be any different. So my assumption is that the first three hits are actually a pickup. So the main groove is this. But we have a three note pickup before it, like this. I don't know if I'm right, but regardless, the wrong version is the one I'm gonna hear forever. I kinda like it. And that is it, y'all. We're done. If you know more songs that have confusing intros, send them over. Also, I wanna just say a big, 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 huge, humongous thanks to my Patreon supporters, the very people who helped me keep this channel running. You're all champs. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the future.